Hi, hello again. This is Richard, and uh, welcome back to the Life with Richard YouTube channel. Uh, this is just going to be a short video today, and I'm going to talk a little bit about a recent experience I had when I went to the doctor uh, for a medical exam. Uh, and I don't know if any of you out there have experienced uh, this as well. I'm hoping to get some feedback from people in the comments. And uh, this is kind of uh, something that I've seen in the medical industry between uh, video calls, you know, uh, doing the appointments on Zoom or, or whatever uh, type of video meeting you've had with your doctor. I think that we've all had these, you know, you get a little bit cold and, and you set up an appointment, they don't want you to come in, uh, and then they tell you to drink some lemon tea and some honey and uh, take it easy for a couple of days and body aches will go away and you'll be fine. And, you know, I know that a lot of that has probably stemmed from uh, uh, just kind of adapting sta standard COVID protocols for for the medical industry. And I get that. But, you know, I think that it's time that we put the personal touch back in the medical care. And uh, I, the last couple of times that I went to the doctor, the doctor uh, comes into the room and he has his cell phone in his hand and when he enters the exam room he says hey I have uh, this app on my phone uh, it's it's an AI assistant and it records the conversation and it helps me with the treatment plan and how to move forward with you uh, is it okay do you have an, any uh, objections to it and the last couple of times you know he, he, he's done that um, of course, I, I said, no, no problem, you know, okay, whatever, I'm a friendly guy and, and I have a relationship with my doctor, I like to think, because I've seen him over several years now and, uh, you know, I don't really have any really tough medical conditions. I mean, I have high blood pressure and, and you know, they want me to take statins for cholesterol. I'm a 63-year-old man, uh, whatever. So I think that uh, a lot of us experience that type of thing at uh, at our age and you know I don't really talk about any medical issues on my channel but I'm bringing it up now because uh, you know as we went through the conversation of the uh, you know kind of this exam uh, with his uh, him recording the AI he's looking at his computer at the same time and and uh, the AI that is uh, on the cell phone is going to Bluetooth connection to his computer and basically filling out the the medical record details automatically and making suggestions at the same time on how to move forward uh, with my uh, medical diagnosis or whatever you want to call it treatment plan or or how to best help me so uh, kind of the the gist of it was uh, the whole thing was a little shorter than than it usually is. He was in, he was out, he was in a hurry, and I think what's going on is that he's just trying to get more appointments and to feed the machine of of profitability for his uh, medical establishment and deal with more patients by using AI as a crutch. And I kind of feel like the the personal touch of medicine is really kind of going away more and more in today's society. I guess is the bottom line. It's a little bit tough for me because uh, I'm from a different era. You know, my uh, doctors uh, care about me, uh, and I think that, you know, well, the doctors in the past seem to have a more personal touch than what I've been experiencing lately from this one. And I don't know if he's under a bigger strain to perform himself or to create more productivity because it is a, a big medical establishment that, you know, they all have profit motives these days, including the pharmaceutical companies and whatever. So in this particular instance, he asked me about a med medication that he put me on. And I said, no, I stopped uh, because it was giving me muscle aches and, and uh, you know, fatigue. And, and I didn't like the way that it made me feel. And immediately he says, okay, well, we'll put you on something else. And, and I, I can't help but feel like, that was something that the AI had uh, recommended that be switched to and you know that the medication be switched to and I'm a big believer in AI and I think that they've the medical industry has made these 
huge uh, investments to train these large language models to be able to deal with medicine in this way. And I think that it's okay, but again, something about it just kind of removes the personal touch uh, from medical care. And I, at the same time, I believe in, you know, better living through modern science. I'm, I'm a huge believer and advocate of that. But it's kind of stripping away almost the personal touch of, you know, having a, a, an open, honest, and frank conversation with your doctor. So I, I guess it's a dilemma that people my age have to deal with. I don't know if you're dealing with it or how you feel about that, but... If you could please let me know in the comments, again, uh, just a short video today, like, subscribe, and uh, give me a comment. Uh, it really helps my channel. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers on this channel, and I would greatly appreciate it if you would help me out. Thanks so much, and that's it for Life with Richard today. I appreciate it.